So the next kingdom that we're going to look at from West Africa is the Kingdom of Mali, which just like Ghana, it also developed along the Niger River. And the Kingdom of Mali also depended on trade along the western part of Africa, particularly salt, gold, metals, and shells, and some other goods were the major um, trading goods that they used to transport all along the western portion of Africa. The founder of the Mali Empire was Sundiata, who was able to rebel against um, groups of people who had taken over his village. And he united the villagers and rebelled and first created the Mali Empire, which grew eventually into a very powerful force here in West Africa. And that is mostly due to Mansa Musa, who was his grand nephew. Um, and Mansa Musa is really responsible for making Mali a very powerful empire in West Africa. He really is regarded as the leader who led this kingdom to the height of its power and wealth. He created three large cities, Timbuktu, which became a very well-known city, especially for learning, um, Jene and Gao. These were the three major large cities developed from Mali. He also encouraged the spread of Islam. Mansa Musa was a devout Muslim, and so he encouraged Islam to spread even further along Western Africa. And so he created many mosques throughout his empire. Remember, a mosque is very much the temple of the Muslims. That's where they go to pray. And he also encouraged the Hajj, which is a pilgrimage, a journey to the holy city of Mecca, which is the birthplace of Islam. Um, and that still is one of the major beliefs and principles of Islam today. It is encouraged for all followers of Islam for once in their life to make this pilgrimage, to make this holy journey to the city of Mecca. And that's known as the Hajj. Um, so Mansa Musa really is responsible for making Mali a very powerful empire. And they also continue to rule throughout the region um, until eventually after Mansa Musa's death, the leaders that followed after him were not as powerful, and eventually the empire of Mali began to decline in power, leaving open the western region of Africa for other groups to come in and take over.